Good morning, y'all. So today is Sunday, which means that it's been an official, I think, at least I think that it's been an official week of quarantine. I feel like we started it on Monday. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, but it feels like it's been like a month of quarantine. I just woke up um, and I'm actually about to get myself together. I wanted to like hop in the shower and everything and then um, go run to the store or somewhere for some milk. Um, we've been trying not to be in the store um, at as much as we can or as much as we can try to not go to the store. But you know, like we ran out of small things, like the other day we ran out of eggs, we needed some more eggs. The other day we ran out of um, like smoothie mix, we needed some of that. Um, and then this, yesterday I ran out of milk. So I need to get some milk as well. But I wanted to go run to, uh-oh, my lashes. I wanted to go run to the grocery store to get some milk. Um, because this morning I'm gonna make some pancakes, eggs, and potatoes or hash browns. But our church is actually live streaming church this morning at 9 a.m. Not 9 a.m. 10 a.m. So I need to like go shower and everything, run to the store, get the milk, and get back before church starts live streaming. Um, and then after the live stream, I will go ahead and start making breakfast since we have all this stuff. <laughs> I'm, me and Dion never make breakfast on Sundays ever because we have church and usually you have to get to church really early for him because he usually sings in the choir or whatever. So Dion was like, are you gonna make breakfast in the morning? And I was like, sure. Granted, y'all, I probably haven't cooked all week. <laughs> He's been doing the cooking. So I was like, yeah, maybe I'll go ahead and make some, um, some breakfast. Like, no, just something, just something to make it feel kind of, sort of, a little normal. If y'all hear some um, background noise back there, it's because Dion's out here. Of course, like all the gyms and stuff are closed. So he's having to make his own little makeshift gym or makeshift workout. And um, he pulled out his like old, old laptop, the laptop that he had whenever he was in college. Y'all don't know about insanity. Like years ago, it was like a big thing. Um, it's like an actual software people used to like do like on-demand workouts. It was actually, I think it was like one of like the first like big on-demand workouts. I feel like now they have like apps and stuff like that, but um, this is, what is this is set up? Say hey baby. <laughs> That's his stuff, he has a little chair, his computer, so he can do his workout. He started in CND what, like three days ago, babe? Like two or three days ago? Yesterday. Oh, yesterday. But before that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before that, he's been doing um, his own little workout outside in the gym. So he had pulled out, I mean, in the garage, my bad. So he had pulled out like his, y'all. Babe, I don't think he worked out like at the house like like this in a long time. I haven't. Yeah, he has worked out. He's a must to work out of the gym. Yeah, he, he, he said that he pays money to work out at the gym. So that's where he usually wants to work out. Um, but he like pulled out his oh, his weight. He has little push up things my dad got him for Christmas. Yeah, he's been he's been making sure to get it in for sure. Like no matter what, he's getting his workout. Ain't that right? <laughs> because um, I really want to have it for whenever we get packages and mail and things like that. I want like um, like a Lysol or something like that so that way I can just easily spray stuff down to kill the germs. And y'all, I have been on the hunt. This is my third store that I'm going to right now. Um, I've gone to two Walmarts, of course I didn't have any. So now I'm going to a Kroger and hopefully they have some. Um, if not, I may try, I don't think like an Aldi or anywhere would have it. There's no Targets nearby me that have it. I don't know, oh Lord. I'm like, <sighs> this is a problem with people hoarding stuff. I will say that for sure, that is one thing me and Dion have not done 
is hoard and just buy a bunch of unnecessary things that we don't need like whenever we went and got tissue we got one pack of tissue <laughs> whenever we went and got paper towels you got one pack of paper towels you know like I just hate that people have been buying up everything and like not leaving enough for everyone else you know it's just ugh, it's just so frustrating I made it back home didn't have any luck with the lifestyle wipes but I did finally find some gloves, finally. I had placed an order this morning. I happened to look and I saw that they had some of the disposable gloves on Walmart for so I placed an order for pickup. And then when I got there, it took them like almost an hour to find my order. They had said that it was there, but they couldn't find it. So they were like, it took them forever to figure out where my gloves were. So anyways, I finally got some of these, but of course no Lysol, spray, wipes, nothing. I did find, however, I found this, um, air sanitizer it was actually in the auto section i doubt anyone knows about it because it was like fully stocked i have bought these more so for our cars because you know like whenever you're you know like out and about in the grocery stores or wherever you're like around lots of people lots of products things like that you know you're more exposed to like bacteria via the air um i have bought this so i thought it'd be good to just like keep in our cars for like after we you know finish shopping in our cars we can like easily spray down the air i mean it, Look, there I there are things that I wish that I had that would be more effective. Like this is obviously not the same thing as like Lysol, but it's also a lot harder to do things that you want to do when you can't find the things that you the things that you want to find. So like I'm trying to like be creative to find ways to like prevent us from getting exposed to it. So that is why like having this little air sanitizer would be good for our cars. And then also for like when we walk in the door to our house and like spray, just to at least to kind of help sanitize the air you know around us at, at least to do something to help pro you know to prevent the corona yeah bacteria and corona you know this virus in general and just bacteria in the air you know at least try to help to combat that here it is in case you're interested in going to check it out like i said it was in walmart and it was in the auto section these are new i did not know that simply the brand Simply now makes Simply Smoothies. So I got this Orchard Berry one, and then I also got the Shower Banana one. I'm very interested to see how it tastes. I mean, it looks good, and it has no added sugar. Of course, it does have some natural sugar in it, but it doesn't have any added sugar. And then I got some baking, because so I'm about to make um, breakfast, right? Well, a late breakfast, one o'clock in the afternoon, but um, I got some bacon for our late breakfast. I got some feta because since I actually have time this week, um, I'm gonna make Dion's favorite meal of mine, which I've shown before um, in another vlog some, at some point, um, but Dion loves, not this, but Dion loves whenever I make my feta stuffed chicken breast. So I got the stuff for that because I actually have time. Got a frozen pizza. I wanted to get more vegetables, but y'all, the vegetable aisle was cleared out. So I didn't really need that much. It was more so just stuff that we, like, you know, had ran out of or things that I had forgot to get while we, you know, were out last time. Um, and so I think that we are good to go. It's good. It actually is really good. Let me taste it. And it's not that sweet either, so you would like it. You'd be lying. Let me stop. Let me taste it. It's not sweet oh, either. It's not, it tastes like applesauce. Like even like apple the viscosity of it looks like applesauce. Look at it. Well, it's all 100% like there's no added anything in it. It's like 100% fruit. That's why. Put yeah. Some ice in it and some extra stuff. It'll be extra good. I do one thing I want to add. I'm not trying to be healthy. I'm not the most unhealthy person. Like, I... I I know I need to eat my fruits and vegetables. I don't eat it all the time like you do. But I do try to get, you know, balance it out. I do. I'm not that bad. <laughs> oh, also on the subject of being healthy, make sure that you guys are taking your vitamins and even like some immune tablets if you can find some. And I say if you can find some because they're really hard to find. Um, I've been trying to do good with my vitamins recently. I, I honestly... Am not the the best vitamin taker. Not gonna lie, just being honest. But I have been trying to do better with taking my vitamins and like immune support supplements recently. So here's the Airborne one that we've been taking. It's the Airborne immune support supplement. It's the original one, and it has vitamin C and 13 other vitamins and minerals and herbs in it. This is the very berry one. 
And she is take it, fill up a cup of water. And this is filtered water, by the way, if you guys <laughs> are like wondering why I'm drinking tap water. Drop it in there and then let it kind of fizzle up. And then you drink that, of course, to support your immune system. And then I'll also take multivitamins and just like other um, vitamins as well. It's been so rainy and cloudy all weekend. So I'm like, I need some sun. For me, it's like, if I'm gonna be stuck in the house, it needs to be bright and sunny and airy. I was telling you it's funny because you know how people are like, oh, you like you shouldn't use cleaners and things like that that have like harsh chemicals in it, blah, blah, blah. You know those people that are all about everything being 100% natural. Yeah, like they're like all about being natural. And then it's like now with this whole thing going on it's like no everybody's racking up on all of the on all the car chemicals exactly i also went in um sanitized the door handle so i didn't do that i hadn't done that in a couple of days either oh i'm like giving y'all all my little extra uh <laughs> you know what i mean yeah <laughs> do y'all think i'm being extra <laughs> no i had it i no i did that the other day whenever i cleaned the whole house that i hadn't done in a couple days so i was like let me just go ahead while i'm at it and in Cleaning mode. Let me go ahead and just sanitize the door handles too. So all we're doing is some bacon. Well, bacon for me. Um, these potatoes, O'Brien potatoes that I got from the store. I got these actually a couple weeks ago or last week whenever I stocked up. So I got these bacon eggs for us. I totally forgot to grab some more eggs whenever we were in the store. So hopefully this will last us at least through today. And then of course I cannot forget my pancake mix. breakfast for me and the hubby got the pancakes potatoes that didn't come out how we planned but we'll make it work eggs bacon how'd i do honey dip <laughs> y'all know cooking isn't really uh my thing it's definitely dion's thing but i do try every now and then to do a little sum sum for him that's his love language by the way so i try there right, i bet Yep. I'm not <laughs> you say he's not complaining, yeah. I think I'm gonna eat at the table today, which we never eat at the table. Like ever. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like only you really sit here. <laughs> to, like do work and stuff. But I I don't think I've actually no, I sat here one time and that was um no two times. One was for a test for class. The other time was whenever my cousin had came over um to visit and we were talking over here and I just sat at the table. But that's, and we've been, y'all, we've been here for six months. So that's really about it. You gotta try it, so what you think? All right, I tried it, I know it's good. Oh, yeah. He said it actually tastes pretty good. I said it actually tastes pretty good. I don't mean it like that. <laughs> Whatever, that's what you said. So me and Dion were talking this morning and um, we were talking, or we were saying how um, we think that this would be a good time to do like more. Vlog week? Yeah, like I was like, we should do a vlog week, but it probably won't be vlogs every day. Um, since let's be real, not much is gonna be changing <laughs> for the time being. But I had thought that, well, we had thought that it'd be fun to do like more like relaxed, more fun, more vlog-ish style videos, even if it's not like an actual vlog. So just like silly things like that, because I feel like this is a good time to like, just like be 
normal, be relaxed, be casual, and like do more um, relatable videos, especially because, I don't know, like I, it's crazy because I, I had thought that during this time that I would be like super creative and like I'd be super productive. And then like last week I realized this is not even close. I really didn't realize like how much my normal daily activities, like just not the house, going to Target, going shopping, face-to-face -face interactions. Like I never really realized how much those things contribute to my creative process per se, because it's like now that I'm literally essentially constrained to my house and the grocery store, <laughs> like I, I have, my ideas the past few weeks have been like null and void, like I haven't had any. And I'm like, dang, like that must mean that like just moving around freely and like just doing like my normal things actually helps me to be more creative. And so since I can't really come up with anything creative, um, in terms of like makeup videos, beauty videos, etc., cetera, um, you know, we were like, let's just go ahead and do like some more relaxed, more, just more, just more videos of us. I am going to be intervening on uh, Mrs. Knox's channel for the next week or so. <laughs> so get used to seeing me. Probably next week too, since nothing won't, nothing won't change for next week. Yeah, it's just like we're gonna be you know? sitting around the house. <laughs> yep, trying to find things to do. Trying to find things to do. Cars told me earlier that she read this uh, interesting uh, article. Was it an article mm -hmm. or just some? An article. Uh, about how they're expecting a baby boom, baby boom. <laughs> after this uh, month of pandemic worry or whatever. And that makes sense, right? Oh, I can believe You're it. You're at home, boy. There ain't much to do besides, <laughs> let's be real. You know, like, there's not really much to do, especially if you're married or like living with your significant other besides Working, watching TV, and doing other things. <laughs> That's literally all you can do. Doing the other thing. What's the other thing? <laughs> I'm not saying. What's I honestly don't saw that, but <laughs> we were talking the other day about like how how crazy it is that this kind of came out. I don't want to say it came out the blue because I truly believe that like they kind of knew about this. They they, they, they 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 knew it was coming for us, the normal average American. It kind of came out the blue. Um, and I feel like I went from like zero to a hundred real quick. Okay. And I just feel so bad. Like my heart hurts. We were saying yesterday, like, can you imagine all the bartenders, all the movie theater employees, all the people who work like sports arenas. Mm -hmm. And those people who live like check the check. All, yeah, all, all the waiters and waitresses. Like, how many people are being affected by, like, literally, because, like, they have no choice but to not work. And then I had also read an article, I've been reading a lot lately, obviously, but I had also read another article yesterday that had said that, like, I think it was, like, already, like, 7 million um, restaurant employees, like, fast food employees have already been laid off. A lot of these companies, especially, I also like feel so bad for small businesses because it's like, you know, like they, most of them need like consistent income coming in. You know, like they're not big corporations. So a lot of these smaller companies like don't have a huge safety net, right? So like the fact that you have all these small businesses who are, who are honestly, a lot of them are going to likely be affected. Be, not only be affected, but by the end of this may not even be in business anymore because of the fact that they've gone so long without bringing in income. And it's just like, dang. It's just crazy. Um, well, I wouldn't say crazy. It's just, it's Sad. unfortunate. It's unfortunate that people are have, having to deal with this right now. Yeah. Or whatever, because I could, it's, it just sucks. Yeah. It just sucks. But just to be on the positive side, I also think there is a plan for, there still is a plan in place for each and every person. I do still think that, yes, it's unexpected, but it's all part of your process. Yeah. So whatever you're supposed it's to. It's all part of God's plan. God's plan. Yeah. God's plan. <laughs> yeah. So I still think it's a part of your process. It's a part of our process as a people at the moment. So I say whatever it is you may be going through 
and some things that you can't afford right now that you usually can or you're you were just getting back up on your feet don't keep keep pushing like there is income to be made out here so whatever hustle you have to come up with just do it so i've been in a room just doing some reading and some and such kyra is probably upstairs doing nothing she probably sleep doing her let's just go see what she doing what i tell y'all look She act like she been working all day. She ain't did nothing. We stay up to work like the morning. Then she go with her excuses. We stay up to eleven o'clock in the morning. We did this. We ain't do nothing. She up her knocked out. How long have you been asleep? Babe, not even an hour. She been asleep for like two hours. No, I haven't. Probably for like thirty minutes. Okay, probably for thirty minutes. So, you know her breath stink and it's stale. Babe, don't be drooling on a pillow. I'm not. Get out of my room. All right, I'll leave you alone. Our daily routine for the past week has just been like breakfast, movie, uh, going on a walk, talking, reading, chilling, no TV kind of time. So what we're about to do now as soon as she wakes up is stop trying to act like she didn't work the whole nine to five, recorded a couple videos, had to cook, had to take care of 10 kids kind of thing. She just be overdoing it, yep. She does. I kind of like heard you as I was like half sleep talking about I've been asleep for a long time. I don't sleep for like 30 minutes, honestly, um, while Dion's down here working. But um, so what we've been doing, I think I mentioned it earlier, but like one of our ways of getting some physical oh, it's I walk around. Yeah. If you saw my husband first time walking around the neighborhood uh, the other day, <laughs> we, y'all, so we've been in this house for six months. And I just walked around the neighborhood for the first time two days ago. <laughs> no, three days ago. Because we were like, he's got the house, we need some activity. So Dion was like, let's go on a walk. And so we walked around. We've been pretty much doing it every day, except for yesterday because it was um, a little, well, it was not a little rainy, it was raining, but it's like a good way to get out. This is my little, my partner. Have you gotten tired of me yet? Yeah. You. <laughs> let's go okay so our walk was very very short-lived um as soon as he got to the corner it started raining <laughs> not so the and i was like babe washing my hair is not in my schedule for the night so we turned right around and came back so it's only six o'clock so i'll probably go ahead and actually um Dion's still wrapping up some work so i'll probably just go ahead and actually um heat my dinner up babe what are you eating for dinner uh, it's veggie day for you right Huh? Okay, yeah, so today's Dion's veggie day, which means that he's just eating vegetables or no meat. So I'll probably just do one of these frozen meals. This is the Healthy Choice Simply Meatball Marinara. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of like frozen meals like this. We've actually been doing pretty good with actually cooking or like just making something. We're like the king and queen of <laughs> um, being resourceful and like working with what we have. So we've actually been pretty good with like actually making stuff. But since today's Dion's veggie day and we already cooked once this morning, I figured I'll just go ahead and do something like this for tonight. Okay, so we're having a healthy-ish dinner tonight. I got my Simply marinara pasta thingy, the meatball marinara. I also went ahead and made some toast because I don't know, I am I the only one who like has to have bread with pasta? And then also I had some leftover smoothie from last night. And this one here is just, I believe that we just put um, berries, like it was a berry mix that we had. So we've just had the berry mix, spinach, and then broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots in it. And it's actually, oh, of course, apple juice. Half apple juice, half water, and it's actually pretty good. Y'all, I am living for these DJs doing uh, mixes, like we're at the club <laughs> on IG Live. My uh, sister's boyfriend, TJ, he's a DJ, and so he's uh, doing a mix tonight, it's Sunday night, so he's doing a mix called, well, it's Club Isolation. <laughs> so he's on uh, live right now doing his mix, and it is literally cracking me up. <laughs> but me and my sisters were just saying, hold on. Oh. This is my jam. 
say something, say, say something, baby. Um, me and my sisters were just saying, like, the one, first of all, I love my people, y'all. I love my people. We are, one thing about us is that we have just a unique way of finding, like, the good and the humor in like any situation and it just makes me so happy and like it just literally makes me smile even over this past week like how entertaining and just how fun social media has been like the past just even the past week because this whole situation like one good thing about this whole situation and like being quarantined is we're pretty much being forced to find new ways to interact with each other and you know like still share our gifts with the world people are you know creating e-courses and like sharing content for free and like doing like virtual ig live workouts and just and training and stuff like that like it's just really cool to see people um want to well a to find creative things to do and then also to see people want to make other people happy and like kind of get their minds off of everything else that's going on. So anyways, let me go back to uh, club isolation over here. What's he playing? Oh. Throw some D's on it. Throw some D's on it. <laughs> so in the night, we're about to sit here and watch a movie. The, another good thing about what's kind of going on is the fact that I feel like we get to actually hang out of here and like actually utilize this room and watch movies because me and y'all never really come up here anymore. <laughs> like we can go like a couple weeks without like being up here because we're so busy we're moving all the time so we really don't really get to sit up here and chill. So he's finding a movie and then I have also been putting my handy dandy popcorn machine to use it's dirty because I just used it um two days ago and I don't like cleaning it out because I'm about to pop a new batch but this is literally guys one of my top three favorite gifts from Dion of all time because this is coming so clutch during this time period because one of my favorite snacks for sure is freshly machined pop popcorn then I also recently found um this pack here on Amazon if anyone cares this is a pack that I've um, been using to make my popcorn and I love it. It literally tastes exactly like the popcorn that you would get at the movies or like at like a basketball game or football game. This tastes exactly like that popcorn that you would find anywhere else. So I just take this, pour it in here and we're good to go. The assignment <laughs> is number seven on Netflix. <clears throat> Dion picked it. He was in charge of this movie, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I told him that he could pick it since I picked the terrible movie last night. Anyways, got my snack. Uh oh. Ew. Anyways, got my snack. Got the movie. I will say that the popcorn and the sound bar does kind of help. Make it feel kind of like the movies, but we've been calling it like we're going to the movies like Dion <laughs> Actually, he came to me the other day and I didn't get it at first and I was downstairs He was upstairs and he called me. He was like, babe, we're gonna go to the movies later today. <laughs> I say We can't get to that movie. I was like the movies. We can't go to the movies. We not go to the movies. All those germs Uh-uh. I'm and the movies is closed blah, blah, blah. and Dion's like, babe, chill <laughs> Calm down. We're not going to the actual movies. We're going to the movie upstairs. So We've been like calling this like a little movie theater and just like pretending like we're we're in the movies. Yeah. And even like whenever like Dion gets up to go to the bathroom, <laughs> I'm like, okay, hold on, I'll, I'll pause it for you. He's like, no, you can't pause it. We're in the movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> gotta keep this exciting. You gotta keep it. He's, <laughs> he said you have to really do it like how it would be like a movie theater. It's like he whispers like right that. He's he's like he's he's all into it whenever we're watching <laughs> something up here. So. We're all going to go ahead and call it a night. Hope you guys enjoyed the first vlog of this quarantine vlog situation. If you guys did, what? Enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up. And? And subscribe. <laughs> subtri what? Subscribe. Subscribe to her channel. Mm-hmm. And we will and catch you guys. We'll catch you all later. Bye, y'all.